Alright, what's up guys? This is PS360 HD2 and today I will be previewing Naruto Online, the first MMO game officially licensed by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Alright, so I was invited to check out the game for the upcoming release on July 20th and I played about two hours of the single player mode and I didn't get to play online, didn't get to do any PvP stuff. I only played two hours of the single player mode and basically here are my quick and very early impressions of the game. Alright, so to start out you get to choose from five different characters. Each character are based on abilities and ninjutsu from the Naruto series. So for instance, you have this kid named Midnight Blade, he resembles Kakashi, has a sword like Sasuke and also has lightning style. Then you have this chick, actually he's a guy but he looks like a chick, called Scarlet Blades and he obviously resembles the Uchiha clan, Firestar, all that. Then you have this other guy called something Crimson, forgot his name, but yeah, he plays, he's, um, he specializes in Taijutsu but he also has earth style so he kind, they, they almost as if they combined Gata and Rock Lee into one character, which is pretty cool. Alright, so basically, the game starts out, you follow the entire story of Naruto, and I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but the majority of Naruto shipping it. Um, you definitely at least make it to the pain arc. So, you follow Naruto from his academy days up to the Haku battle, to the tuning, tuning exams, um, to, the, to the final valley. All the way up to shipping in and whatnot to the pain battle um all right let's talk about the combat and the gameplay a little bit because i know that's what you guys are probably interested in naruto online mmo is basically a a strategy rpg game think final fantasy tactics fire emblem um those kind of games um you don't really control the characters that much you basically control the lineup and um, at the bottom section, there's a jutsu for each character. Um, you can equip different jutsus beforehand. Um, but yeah, basically once you get into combat, that's the only thing you can do. You can move around the characters, select who you want to attack first, and choose from um, the four different jutsus, one per each character. Um, so, some of you might be upset about this, but... For people who like JRPGs or strategy RPGs, they'll be absolutely fine with the combat. Now, there are layers to strategy to choosing your lineup. For instance, let me give you an example, right? Sakura, her main fighting style is she's a medic and she heals. She can heal and revive characters. So, you wouldn't want to put her on the front line to receive the brute of the damage. You would move her to the back and keep her in the in the back then you would put the characters that have the most HP higher defense on the front line most likely Taijutsu characters and then um you have your long-range characters like um, Sasuke and um, most fire style users that you can place them in the middle or back doesn't really matter where you place them but yeah um like I said I only played two hours so um I didn't get to unlock there's a bunch of jutsus that you can unlock I barely unlocked anything. I didn't even get to try. I know I know this game has ultimate juices as well, but I didn't never even got to try the ultimate juices. So um there's still definitely layers to the combat and gameplay that even I don't know. But like I said, it's just a quick impression. Um and as I said earlier, um this is pre-recorded, so the game by the time this video is uploaded, the game should already be out. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. So, as soon as you finish watching this impression, you can head on over and try it for yourself. But don't leave yet, alright? Um, uh, you can, but that's enough about the combat. Let me talk about some of the things in the menu. You can recruit characters, right? So, to recruit characters, you basically, it's almost like, um, I want to say Dokkan Battle, kind of, a little bit. You got to go through the summoning thing and basically, uh, <laughs> Basically, it's like a, a freaking uh, slot machine that you, you click, spin, 
you can win cards, items, all kind of things. But yeah, there's other ways to recruit characters as well. But this is the the one way that I experienced while playing the game. Yeah, and you can build your team no matter who. You can put anyone on your team as long as you recruited them. You can put them on your team. It doesn't matter what part of the story you're in. You can be playing the um, Haku Zab Zabuza arc and Eno can be on your team. So yeah, as long as you have them on lock, you can put them on your team. Um, you're also able to awaken certain characters and give them transformations. Naruto can turn into his Kyubi form. Sasuke can turn into CS2. So as I said, there's still a, a whole bunch of layers that even I haven't even touched upon yet. But um, yeah, that's all I can really tell you guys. I haven't really experienced much else of the game. I might do some live streams later on today or sometime this week. Um, I have a hour, um, the first hour of the single player mode uploading, so you guys can go ahead and check that out once it's up. But um, yeah, this is PS360 HD2. Shout out to those guys over at Bandai again for letting me try out the game early. Peace.